Hello, it's Superstar Sisters, Superstar Mom. How are you YouTubers doing today? I have an unboxing of the Color Zone. Create your own fashion plates. I'm trying to get some of the glare off of it. This is a cute little set that, well, I'm kind of taking over the channel because, you know, the girls, they don't want to do a YouTube video today. But I found this little set... And I think it was maybe like at a little side shop, like a Tuesday morning or TJ Maxx, Home Goods, that type of store. I think it was really like Tuesday morning. But what it is, is it comes with 24 images to mix and match. It comes with built-in storage. And you can create your own fashion from the fashion place. They say that it's hundreds of designs. What it comes with is one design station. Yes, I went on and opened it. So it'll be easier for me to do this presentation on YouTube without hopefully doing a lot of shaking of the camera. And it says that includes everything you need. This one fashion station. Okay, so it opens up like this. It comes with some paper. And it just comes with a few sheets. It says five. But what's left here is three. Four is over there. No, that's four. And five is over there somewhere. You don't want to see that picture. So anyway, <laughs> I'm a fashion designer, but it looks pretty bad. Well, I was trained. Anyway, so, and that's why I like these, because that was a job that I had. Well, I was a design assistant wanting to be a designer, but I was trained to design. So anyway, you have these 12 double-sided rubbing, the five sheets of paper, six crayons, and well, seven because you get this crayon holder and it has the seventh crayon, crayon, crayon. And then you have these 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve fashion plates. And each of the plates have a different drawing on each side so this one you can pick jeans with the motorcycle or you can pick thigh high boots with a little short pleated skirt and flowers in the park this one mini skirt with the dog a little pug it looks like with the boots Ugg boots little boots traveling with a little pleated skirt so you get to pick which side you want as far as the bottom looks like tennis then this one yeah somebody's playing tennis but you get to mix and match the tops so if you don't want them doing the tennis you can get them to do whatever you choose or just pick an outfit because hey that's what I like like that top and the bottom and then here are the faces sun visor would be a little short pixie cut another short pixie cut from what I can tell an afro or curly bob wavy bob with clouds in the background glasses with a messy bun glasses or sunglasses with a pony and a little bang and a little straight bob cut so how this works is like this okay so I've shown you what comes in there so I'm going to show you how to do it in fact it does come with instructions and they say they're easy little instructions there it goes up in the stand so what you're going to do is, I always like a skirt. So since I'm just going to do one design, I'm going to just go on and put these back in here. Let's see, I love traveling. Definitely don't want denim and bikes. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to pick this one with the suitcase. Because I love to travel. Okay, so you get four of the faces 
well, four plates, but you get eight because they're double-sided. You get um, the same with the tops and the same with the skirts. So let's see which lady we want. That hairstyle there is so cute. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the, the waves. The wavy here. And let's see which top. Hmm. Maybe this one. Kind of like a sailor's top. Hmm. That's more of one. Not the tennis racket. Just because I'm getting ready to travel like this. I probably should do a jacket. But I won't. All the same. So, we've done that. Then, what you do is... Just as quick as I did that, I pulled that back in there. So you're going to put this plate in the bottom. You're going to put this plate huh. this one. I'm going to do the one with the peace sign. Put it right here. And then I'm going to put her face now even if you don't find this exact one from color zone there are I see so many options inside the stores and I have some more and I'm gonna do some videos on them cuz I when I see them I just fall in love and I get them and this one too I've been having it down here and I'm in my basement and I've been wanting to do a video on it but I have to now because I have so much stuff I hadn't done. I've been just putting stuff down, putting stuff down. And it's not a hoarding experience, but I do have a cleaning out experience. So it's fall, so I'm doing some cleaning. And it's COVID, so I haven't had to go to work. But I've been working so hard, I haven't been able to do all the things that I wanted to do. While everybody else has been arting and crafting, I feel so exhausted from working so hard. It just so happens my job has let me come home and work. So I've been working so much and so diligently until I just haven't gotten everything done that I wanted to. So I'm trying to now before I go back to work. So I don't know if I showed you the six crayons here, but you come with the seventh, which comes with this holder. And so if you run out, this is a black crayon. And what it is, is you get any black crayon or another color, whichever one you want. It's probably like half of the normal size. So if you've got some little shorty box crayons at your house, you can put them in here. It comes with these. They store inside the storage place also. And I'm going to show you this one drawing. I can't remember if I did it or if one of my daughters did it. But she took the plates. You remember that pixie cut? She took that and that. And she made a drawing. So after I finish them on this one, we'll find that. Now you could always, if you're, you know, this can be for any age as long as it's a six plus. It's what the box is saying. Now, some six-year-olds may not want to play with this or be bothered. <laughs> you may be a teen, or you may be like me, grown and a mom, and just want to play. And so, you can get your mom, or your dad, or somebody, whoever you're living with. If you're at a school where you don't have to pay, the teachers don't have to pay and count their papers, you can maybe get a teacher or somebody to copy it for you. Or, I mean, it's It's simple. Just really, you're going to cut a sheet of typing paper in half. You can do your own frame. You don't have to stick with this frame because it's not like it's just such an exciting frame. So anyway, I'm putting the frame inside of here. And it's going to fit over my design. I'm just putting it to the back of the tray. I'm trying to put it to the back of the tray and let it stay. It seems like it's trying to follow me out. <laughs> that's what I always say when stuff won't do like I want. I was like, oh, it wants to come home with me, but it's at home with me. So then you just get this crayon and you just rub it over it. <laughs> and if you were stamping, let's say, it would almost be like you're stamping a design. Do you see? Except 
you're tracing it. And you're trying to trace it enough. This is just like stamping because you got to keep on adding ink if you need to till you get in a position now like stamping I should have perhaps take the paper down that's one thing I'll say because it did move a little bit and that's not okay I'm not going to say it's okay. It's not okay. But I should have perhaps see I'm trying to think should I have done something to these? And I don't think so. But I should have taped the paper down on either side just to stabilize it. Because technically this should hold it down, but I'm so heavy handed until it didn't. So anyway, if I wasn't so heavy handed, <laughs> and in spite of the fact that I was, I can still, then you just take your crayon or you want you could put your watercolors maybe and they got so many technique color pencils markers oh the options are endless but right here we do have the crayons and just color it in And it's really a cute little set if you want to just not do this you can let's see I'm trying to think if I just have some basic paper in here you know what basic basics makes it all right so what I'm gonna do I was trying to find I got some washi tape here so I'm going to, this time, pick another design. Now, this was the one. I can't believe I can't remember which one of us did this. Because she's like, remember everything. But that was that face. That bottom. And that top. So this time, I'm going to get the pony tail, the flowers, and this, why not? I'll get that. Alright, and so, I'm just going to turn this over and do another demo. And most fashion plates are just as simple. And I have to tell you, I bought this for my girls because when I was a little girl, they had the fashion plates out. Oh, I had my mom, I asked her to buy me a pair, a set, and she did. Uh, and believe it or not, I'm a way grown mama. Like I said, I got little girls, but they're older now, so older they don't really want to do this. And so... <laughs> Not just fashion plates, but they just don't want to do any videos right now. They started out wanting to do them, and now they want to do is play Roblox and what's that other stuff? Instagram. And, well, they actually, my youngest, she's made a video game in one of her classes. Maybe one day. I don't know, I guess we could publish it now. We we'll probably need to work on it just a little bit. So, because that's what children are doing nowadays. 
And maybe they're thinking I'm so old school to do this because, like I said, it's just maybe perhaps the nostalgia of it for me. But I know they do have fashion games and plates and stuff online for adults and for children. Okay, so I taped it down, put that in there, and again, I'm going to do one more. And I mean, you don't really have to even pull this plate down because once you have it taped down, that's good enough. But I'm going to put it down anyway just because that's what they recommend. And that's how it's designed. And then you just rub this crayon back and forth in a little embossed edges get the color and then all you have to do is color it in I don't know if there's a right or wrong way to do this but that's cute enough and you do that you can paint it right on here or you can take it off and paint it and I'm going to just do a little painting in here and that could have probably have used just a little more embossing Let's see if something's going on under here. I did sink down just a little. So, as I stated, that's all it takes. Now I'm thinking with all of that colored in like that. That probably was my daughter that did that. But she didn't do wrong. I don't know. We've got another one around here that has to fall and stuff. So one of us did it. And I would have thought this was it. But it's not. But this is easy. It's simple. Like I said, it gives you plenty of designs. And the other thing that it does is it lets you know that either you like the way these look or you don't like the way these look. And so it's kind of a thing where you can say, okay, I will buy this for my child or I won't buy this for my child. And then... I didn't stack it up like this each time, but um, and that doesn't go in that fourth one. It's either you're going to have the space or you're not going to have it. And I put the crayons. I like to put things back in their order. Does it need a space? Now, it did come with this. I'm not so worried about putting that in, but I'm going to put these crayons in here. And you saw the other crayon that was in there. Now I'll try different configurations to see how to best get this to work. And so, now it's, you know, it seems like when you get on camera, some things just kind of change directions. Oh, and of course, we can do this paper plus this washi tape. You know, it's low tax, so you can always use it. Again, you can use it to hold the papers down. Or you can use the washi tape to hold this down, just so your papers don't flip out. Like I said, it's a low tech tape. I can use that Ziploc bag for some other things. And I'm not going to put it back in the box because that's what I'm trying to do. You see how much smaller 
the space it'll take up not having the box and let me just tell you these are pretty the coloring that they did and I'm gonna tell you and you should know if they used the crayons they used the water crayons you know and now you can use them and use um, water and smudge them because this is not a crayon that is more like a marker it looks like it's a crayon but it's more of a marker and these are more of paints I mean because crayon isn't going to get that coverage crayon is going to always have like that it looks almost like crayon but they even use marker with that so just know that you may have to add some techniques to them if you want to get them to look like they do on the box don't be deceived <laughs> Don't be deceived, because look at that coverage. Don't be deceived. And they did have that tone that's supposed to be flesh tone color, but like I said, in order to get that, they definitely did not use a crayon. Or they didn't use the ones that's in this box. Not to get those ladies' faces. Or their hair in that coverage. But... Like I said, it's a cute little set to get somebody started. And at the same time, there's some you can pay more money for. And if you have a true artist, um, this will take them far. But like I said, some children would be dismayed because it won't do what you want them to do. So get them some markers and let them color. And with that, I'm going to say goodbye. Have a good day.